everyone, and welcome to the LTH product briefing. Today, I am joined by Nick Shills, the CEO of TikTime, a timekeeping company based in the Netherlands. Nick, welcome to the LTH product briefing. Thank you, Nikki. So Nick, I know about you, as of course, my business partners from the Netherlands were very familiar with some of the companies out of Europe. But for those watching who perhaps don't have the background, can you tell us a little bit about you and the history of TikTime, how it came to be founded? Yeah, sure. Happy to. My name is Nick Skills, and I founded TikTime about seven years ago with the sole purpose of helping firms to make the task of time tracking a lot easier. When we started with that product, we had the idea like we can reduce the time spent on time tracking, we can find more billable and non-billable hours. But once we started scaling and working with larger and larger firms, we also learned that there are much more challenges, so other challenges related to time tracking. So for example, the, the compliance and whether those are internal guidelines, or outside billing guidelines, that's something we implement in our product to make sure that the time that you track through take time is compliant and consistent at the moment you create the entry and not later in the process. Interesting. And so you identified this problem in the market around timekeeping. How did you come to serve law firms in particular? Yeah, for us, that was a really interesting process because our founding team is very product focused. My background is also in software engineering. So when we started the company, the idea came up in our previous company where we had project management software and time capture was just a small part of that. And we thought that was a very interesting idea to create a scalable product. So once we built the product, we had to find out like which markets or we had the assumption that everybody who writes time would benefit from tick time. But then once we got in touch with legal firms, we noticed that the challenges there are very different than, for example, say a consulting firm. So instead of writing blocks of four or eight hours, we have increments of six minutes. And instead of very brief descriptions, we have very detailed descriptions. And then of course, combined with the high hourly rates, that's when in actually the after the first year, we found that we had a great product market fit with the legal sector. And that's also where we've been focusing ever since. It's really interesting to me because we know that people bill by the hour in industries outside of legal, but to hear it from you who has this background that really the way we bill in legal is different and much more granular and detailed and that I'm sure makes the challenge around timekeeping much harder for lawyers. Yeah, absolutely. And we all, at the time, we also realized that we were not going to build one solution that, that would fit every market. And sometimes there are only very small differences, but focusing completely on legal yeah, really helps us to develop a solution where we really understand the customer and on, by only working with that segment, yeah, we keep improving, improving the product even more. Nick, I know that you've been very successful in Europe with TikTime. You're now working with some firms and entering the US market um, yeah. and some other markets. Is that right? Yeah, correct. The first uh, six years of the company, we only focused in Europe. So we are a Dutch company. So naturally, we, we started there. But it's a very small market in a very small country. So we knew from the beginning that we had to uh, have a very scalable model to grow outside of the Netherlands. And initially, that was for us was uh, Scandinavia. So we are now market leader in, in Finland, in Norway, growing fast in Denmark. Later, we expanded to South of Europe with Spain, uh, Portugal, where we're also market leader now. And we've done that through a model where we work with local implementation partners. So that allows us to be a product-focused company. We don't have to build a large consulting team or sales team. And it allows us to address the local markets with local knowledge. And that's also the model we're now replicating in the UK and the US. So we've signed our first partners in the UK and the US. We actually signed our first deals in both regions. And that's also how we're planning to scale in the coming years. That's very impressive growth, Nick. Thanks. So I'm I'm really curious to understand more about TikTime and to know how it differentiates itself from others in the market. Why don't we jump into the solution and take a look? All right. Here we go. So before we look at the features, it's also very interesting to know that at TikTime, we put a lot of effort into making sure that it's a solution that can be implemented very fast, because that's usually what the main challenge is when rolling out technology like this. So TikTime runs on uh, on Microsoft Azure, and we have a multi-tenant environment, which we, we can create an account and a law firm can be up and running within a few weeks. But we actually also allow customers to deploy the solutions to private tenants or even to Azure tenants that are managed by the customer themselves. So very very flexible in that regard. Been a while since I saw a timekeeping interface like this. It's giving me <laughs> anxiety. Bring, bring back memories. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, let me show you a bit of the, the, the feature of TikTimes. When you log into the web application or the mobile application, you can see that it consists of two parts. 
And here on the left side, you see a timeline. And this means that where it's marked blue, tick time has captured activities for me in that time of the day. Okay, and so it's automatically captured those activities as I've been working. Exactly. It doesn't matter where I am on my computer or what I'm in, it will capture Correct. the time regardless. Yeah, you don't have to start tick time. You don't have to start a timer or a, or a stopwatch. It runs in the background and automatically captures activities. So tick integrates with applications like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, so we'll call it like this, Word, Outlook, Excel, all the activities in those those applications automatically captured by tick time. And here on the right side, you see, which might look familiar, like a form to, to create a time entry. And that integrates directly with the practice management system. So for example, if I want to create an entry here of like say 30 minutes, I can select a matter. So I can search here by name or number. Then I have an activity. So let's say I have a meeting and here in the description field, I can then enter the description. So what's very common with existing systems is that you have to sort of start from scratch. But in take time, we use narrative templates and functionalities like the glossary. So where I can see terms or names or document names of the, the items that are related to the selected matter. So for example, I say that's very cool. It also indicates, for example, the, the language that the narrative is expected in. So in this case, it's a US client. It expects an English narrative. Rounding is automatically set to six minutes because that's common in the, in the US. But this could also be like a French matter or a Norwegian matter where rounding is expected in 15 minutes, for example. All those small details take time to make sure that the entry complies with when I, at the moment, I click save. And Nick, how many countries is it configured for? Or can you configure it for any, any country? Basically, any country we're already active in more than 16 countries at the moment so we either have customers there or we work with global firms that had off offices in uh, in more than 20 countries so what i've just shown you is how to create a, a manual entry so that's probably very common to you um, but what we have where the real power of the system comes in is what you see on the left side here so as i mentioned where it's marked blue tick time has captured uh, the activities and here below i can see all the details so for example i can see i had a meeting at the beginning of the day i had a teams call i sent an email i I worked on a document and if i click one of those suggestions it automatically fills out all the details here on the right so in this case tick time has captured one hour and 36 minutes because it was saved in the document management system we can already assign it to the right client or the right matter if it wasn't assigned in the document management system tick time actually learns from the historical entry so it will also make a suggestion then the activity is automatically filled out and here you can see that tick time creates a description based on what we call a narrative template in the language of the matter i can still change anything i want or I just can click save and then it's a confirmed entry. And so, and you can edit those automatic narratives um, as you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. What I can do, for example, is I can also switch to groups and then I can see per matter what I've worked on. And okay. let's take this example here. So this was an email, a call, another email. And maybe I don't want to have that as separate entries, but just as one single entry, then I can still edit I see. the text. And here it says now save all and then the tree between brackets, which means it's merging those three suggestions into one final entry, which is oh, now that, here. That's very clear. So as a lawyer, you're still in control on which level of detail I want to report, create my entries, and which I eventually want to have on the on the bill to the client. Nick, if you are working in a system with which tick time is not natively integrated, mm -hmm. I suppose you would create a manual entry, but then are you also able to create an integration with tick time if it is, you know, a platform, for example, that the firm uses widely? So that's an implementation of tick time always consists of the integration with the tools you use to get your work done. So that a lot for a large part that is Office, Teams, Zoom, etc. combined with the document management system. So that's responsible for all the suggestions here on the left side. And then the third part, which is the main part of a TIC implementation, is the integration with the practice management system. So this list of time entries that you see here on the right side, those are the confirmed entries, and those will be exported to the practice management system for billing purposes, reporting purposes, etc. And what about outside council guidelines and rules around billing? Is that also pushed into the system? Yeah, so we can fetch that information from an external system. So for example, if defining the outside council guidelines is part of your intake procedure, we can fetch the information from there. But we also encounter a lot of firms that don't have a way to structure that information correctly. Then we offer a module to actually set it up in tick time directly. For example, let's say I want to create an entry on this matter. Let's see. So for example, this is a US matter where they also expect a UTBMS code. I say other and I say, for example, travel to 
Amsterdam. And then it actually picks up that travel is one of the forbidden words in the narrative. So when I use travel or traveled or traveling, it will actually flag it. And then I can configure it in two ways. I can either block it, like you see here now. I cannot save the entry when the entry doesn't comply. Or I can flag it, where I do allow the timekeeper to create the entry. But then it's flagged in the finance system that this cannot be built to the customer in advance. So that saves a lot of time in the whole billing process or in discussions with the, uh, the client, of course. That's great. And I noticed so that you do also create or bring in the phase and task codes that are typical in a particular region. Absolutely. Yeah. That's one of the main purposes of the, the design and the interface. So what you see here now, you work in the context of one day. I can click the, the calendar here on top where I can see the total for this month. I can navigate to different days. And the nice thing is the way we set up the interface, it requires very little training. So just to name an example, in Europe, we went live at a law firm with about 1,400 fee earners. And all it took was one single video. And we went live with a big bang on Monday morning to all fee earners within the firm. I like that calendar view so you can get a sense of over time what your narratives look like. What about from a data perspective? Are there any features that allow, for example, partners to see time across their practice group or any features that kind of go beyond the native timekeeping app. Yeah. So when it comes to reporting, we, we offer different uh, solutions. What we've made sure that is built in in TIC is reporting on an individual level. So when a fee earner has any question, like why did I spend my time? Which activities did I spend most time on? It's only one click away in TIC and you can directly see it. Now, when it comes to reporting on a firm level or on a practice level, practice group, we knew there are so many different wishes and, and requirements around reporting that we decided not to build it in TIC time, but we actually built a specific report API and we built some templates in Power BI based on that API so that the firm has a very easy starting point and then from there they can customize the way how they want to report on the tick data. And all of this is available in a mobile interface as well, correct? Yeah, correct. The mobile application is a native app available in the App Store or Play Store. Also works with single sign-on and conditional access so any security you have around authentication works both in the web application and the mobile application and it has the exact same functionality. So it has screens with suggestions, with confirmed entries, and I can use it on the go anywhere. Well, Nick, thank you so much. What strikes me, I have to say, when I see it is just, it looks so much easier to use than the clunky old systems I was using when I was practicing, you know, 10, 12 yeah. years ago. Really intuitive. So it doesn't surprise me that people could get up and running so quickly. Thank you so much for joining us and showing us Tick Time. For those who are watching, we will put a URL at the bottom so you can get in touch with Nick and his team and inquire more about Tick Time. But Nick, thank you for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for having us.